bright and early on a Monday morning. Got a container, <laughs> shipping container stuck in the middle of one of my roads. The guys are supposed to be back Thursday. So I'm out here bright and early on a Monday morning. Brought Farmer John out here. Went over the dump truck, got all its fluids full. Capped it off with gas. And today we are gonna go reinforce some areas and make sure that those containers get installed Thursday. We are going to beef up the roads where that big rig needs to go. Bullfrog's really been doing a good job out here. Not only is he delivering rock, but uh, it's also yanking semis out that get stuck. So, looking to get about six good size loads of gravel in today. Gonna go a little bit bigger than the three quarter. And I'm gonna take this stuff right here, put it in some problem areas, and do what we gotta do, because I got two weeks left to get all my trucks moved. We have been uh, bringing a truck out at a time, all my running trucks. We just brought Digger out today. That old boy fired up pretty good and drove out there with no problems. It's been about six months since I even started that truck. But we got it out here and we've got a few others out here. Just got to do what you can when you can, you know. These containers are going to be a huge help. At least we'll have some place to put stuff. Can't just bring stuff out here and set it out in the woods. But that's Digger right there. He's a good runner. V8 truck. And then we got Wendell T. GMC. And a couple other boys out here. Anyway, I'm going to go get to work. We'll be back. This guy who was delivering the containers took his big rig off the gravel over here because he was worried about hitting the tree that's on the other side of the container when he swung around. That's where he pulled off the gravel and that's what cost us a lot of time. If he'd have stayed on there, we'd have been okay. But he was worried about hitting this tree, uh, which I don't think he's going to hit the tree. But anyway, that's just my opinion. So uh, I'm not, rather than gravel all this so that he can hook back up to this end with the doors, I don't want gravel out here. I want this to be grassy out here. And I was gonna put gravel in there, but I'm not going to. I had a different idea. I think when he comes back, he's gonna be bringing my other container that matches this one with him. But when he comes back, I'm gonna have him pick it up from this end it would be a lot easier for me to beef this area up and he never got stuck here. And then focus on the road going in here and to the area where the storage containers are going and the area where he needs to swing around. Because I don't want to start graveling this whole property. Pretty much got everywhere graveled where I want gravel, except for where we're putting the building. So, Monday morning, bright and early. John's off getting the first load. I'm going to get pumpkin fired up, go over some of these ruts, and uh, smooth things out, and we're going to beef it up. So, this is the road right here coming in, and I mowed this part where the dump truck's at right now because I thought that would be a good spot for big trucks to go, you know, and then join back up with the road right here and go back there. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, that's actually where I recommended that the guy who uh, brought that should drive. He went straight ahead there. I didn't go here. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and put a little gravel right there. Just make it another option for larger trucks. And uh, I've been putting in some thick rock in this low spot down here. Not that we've had a lot of trouble with that, but kind of at the point where I can see where I need stuff added. Like right down there on the left, I'm going to put some big rock there and there also. And a bunch of it where he needs to pick that container up. And just go around today filling in spots, addressing weak spots, and doing everything we can to get that container over where it goes. And the one that's coming in, where it goes. 
so I can move forward out here. Yeah, I think this is a, because that's high ground over there. So I think that's a good spot to bring heavy step in rather than going down there. John's been doing a pretty good job running that dump truck. He's doing a good job. He's got to get back into a swing. This is his first load on a Monday morning. And it's been a while since he's been out here. But uh, trust me, once he gets a few loads under his belt, he'll snap right back into his groove and we'll be making some progress. That'll be helpful. Yeah, that'll help a lot right there. Trust me. We aim to make it easier. He's doing really good. I like John. He's a good guy. He's been a lot of help out here. Hey, Ricky, what are you doing right now? I'm trying to rectify a situation, a bad situation. I left my container in the middle of my road, and I can't make any progress like that. The other day, Rick was having containers delivered, and this, he calls him Green Guy, went off his roads twice, got stuck twice, and Bullfrog, right over there, pulled them out twice people don't want to come back so Rick's gonna try to get him out with Homer and usually when my guy says he's gonna do something he just does it <laughs> well when I can there's only so much I can do you know but you gotta try right Anyway, today it's dry, but we're supposed to be getting massive rain tonight, and they're giving flood warnings in the Willamette Valley, and especially along rivers, and we live along the river. And I walked back there earlier, and the creek is already about four feet to the top of the bank. There's Homer. This is the first time he's been out here, huh? What? No, it's the second time. Right?
Wait till you see that was cool as heck. You were like outside. Well, we get some logs under there now. That's what I'm thinking. We know it'll pick it up. We pick it up, put some logs under it, and I still haven't used my block it block yet. You know, tackle. So that was cool. As heck. We'll come out here tomorrow and we'll move that thing. All right. Homer be twisted and twisted. He's a twisted tomato. So much for our little stream, huh? Oh, Look, it took all this out. Yeah, so much for somebody building their little dam here. This is part wow. of Wow. That's cool. I like it. I love it. When we first came out on this property, it was in the middle of a drought. And we suspected this stream had rise quite a bit because of how high the river banks are. But uh, this is cool. That's the river down there. So much for our little stream, huh? Look, it took all this out. Yeah, so much for somebody building their little dam here. This is part of Wow. That's cool. I like it. I love it. When we first came out on this property, it was in the middle of a drought. And we suspected this stream had rise quite a bit because of how high the river banks are. But uh, this is cool. That's the river down there. It's bizarre. Well, See, this like, is what's good about us coming across this when it was a drought. We know what it's going to look like when it's really low, and now we're going to get a taste of what it looks like when it's really full. So, but I like this little stream cutting through the property. We'll the find a place for a bridge. What? Is this the rain then that came through and did this? Or it came through like this? Well, this got higher than it is right now. <laughs> She's awesome. She just loves it out here. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd say our little stream is not a little stream. That's the river down there, and that's where it joins in with the river. Hey, let's go down to the river! Well, I'm going down to the dike. Come on, I don't want to leave you out here. Watch out for the horse poo. Our neighbor's horses escaped yesterday. Apparently they like our property better. The trader came in and did all this, but we'll be able to watch it happen. Yeah. Love seeing the wildlife out here. No, I think she's looking at us. Okay, now this is a river. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy cow. You know, I uh, I thought the river was kind of pathetic when we first came out here. There's the undertow right there. Wow. Well. My heart's underwater, I bet. Yep. That is a river. This was just a trickle right during there. the drought. Yeah, you wouldn't. You want to show this river some respect? Yeah. Definitely. Like we were walking. 
Yeah. Well, this is good for us to have footage of and to yeah. keep in mind because it, it tells us where to stay away from stuff. Cleansing all the crap out. Yeah. This is a big river. <laughs> I was just out at our place getting ready to use Old McDonald and Tug to uh, load up a telephone pole and cut it into sections with my chainsaw so that I could come out here and grab Homer, my tow truck, and pick up the shipping container and put logs under it so that I could move it because the shipping container company that dropped this here did not call me today but they uh, I did decide to check my voicemail right while uh, I was getting ready to make the video of me coming out here and using Homer and Bullfrog and everything else to get this moved and they said that they were gonna go pick up my other one and bring it on out we've got extra gravel in here um, problem is He's not going to be able to pick that up where it is right now. So while he's bringing the other one over, I'm going to scurry and use Homer and Bullfrog and uh, get it moved because he cannot pull his big rig into those bushes. And we've learned through experience that they cannot pull off of the gravel with that truck. So I'm going to have to scoot this over uh, about... 10 feet, 10 to 12 feet, so that he can park his big rig right here where I've put in a whole bunch more gravel. If I have time, I'm going to take Pumpkin over there and smooth everything out for him before he gets here, and then he should, should be able to easily pull back there and back my containers into the space where they belong. So, we'll see. Wish me luck. Good news is it's not raining right now.
think they got a wrecker sitting like uh, two blocks down the road waiting for me to pay to <laughs> continue with progress. Because I'm wondering why this truck's not running over here that I'm paying $100 an hour for. And I go over there and he's like, it's a piece, piece of stuff. And uh, <laughs> it won't start. And I'm like, well, will that bub start? Because I got a dump truck over there. And he's like, that usually works. Well, guess what? You know, I need to get paid for roadside assistance, right? <laughs> Right? Yeah, they're charging you a hundred bucks an hour. Oh, what is it, fifty dollars to turn the key on that gun truck? Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna be able to see much. I hope this isn't a repeat of the other. Driver, same scenario. Get off the phone. <laughs> it's an adventure. I'm tired of this particular adventure. Trust me. Make it 500. Make it 500. I got 300 on me. 350 I'll, I'll make it 500 when you guys come back and move the other one. That's when I went to the bank and got it. would only let me get 300 out. I didn't hear from you guys till late. You come back, put my other container where it goes. I'll pay the rest. Well, I, I already like gave that because I'm supposed to pick, pick up 500 bucks. Well, I gave him 800 last time he came out here, and All I got. All I'm supposed to do is pick up 500, and you just have to deal with it. Yeah, I'll, I'll deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I've dealt with worse than that, Jeff. You know, you, I've learned that you give these guys all the money that they want uh, before they finish the job they don't come back and finish the job. So I've got one container where it goes. I pretty much am thinking that Homer, Bullfrog, and my tractors are gonna end up moving the other one. They got $1,100 cash out of me and uh, the job's not done. So that's the way it is. Plus, when do they start paying me for roadside assistance? Start your truck, showing you how to turn the ignition key on, where the starter button's at, pulling your trucks out of stuck situations that your drivers got them into. Because as you can see, if they stay on the gravel, there's not a problem. There's a reason we've been hauling gravel onto this property with that old dump truck for the last month. And it's rained considerably more since the last guy yeah. was here. Yeah, you don't give me everything they want. Boy, taking a little heat for, uh, apparently some people think I was abusing Homer when, uh, I yanked this storage container over here about 10 feet with him yesterday. But, here's the thing. I had a container just like this show up on the back of a truck, and I was hoping that they would move this container from where they dropped it in the middle of one of my roads to back there where the other one is which the guy uh, had no problem getting it back there because he stayed on the route that I showed him to stay on where the other guy should went. Anyway, aside from all that I'm kind of on my own right now as far as moving these containers and the reason that I yanked this one over with Homer was because it was about 10 feet to the right of where it is and the guy would not have been able to get his semi in there because he needs a long straight shot so I was setting that thing up so that he could get his big rig on this gravel right here and hook up to the trailer but he elected not to do that because it was dark even though he sat in his truck for an hour uh, with a, apparently a malfunctioning starter Whatever, not my deal. Uh, appreciate the help that I did get from those guys and uh, no problem with them. But uh, I do need to get this moved and as far as me taking heat 
for old Homer, yanking that thing up in there and moving it over the 10 feet that I needed. Uh, if I had to do it again, I would do it again. And that's my, uh, pretty much my litmus test for stupidity. Would I do it the same way? Yes, I would. And I'm still going to use Homer to move this. But now that I know he can pick it up, I'm going to go cut down a tree back there somewhere. Uh, preferably a broken, not special tree. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to be careful about what trees I cut down out here. And definitely we are going to replant. And we are only cutting down the trees that we use. So I'm going to go find one that looks like it's hanging or going to fall over or something. Cut me some logs pick this thing up running out of daylight as usual I spent a lot of time working on bullfrog today he needed a little maintenance but I'll probably use bullfrog for an anchor hook uh, Homer to the back of him to anchor Homer use my winch and a block I have to pull this container around this corner because the doors are on the other end and I want them to be on the same end as the ones on that because I'm building a temporary building. Anyway, I'll go get that tree cut down. And we'll get this container moved. And, you know, uh, all I can say is it's my tow truck. I'm pretty sure I know what it's capable of. Uh, if something does break on it, I've got parts. And I'll fix it. So, you know, don't get upset about stuff I do. Definitely don't do anything that I do. Because, no, that was not safe. But, like I said, I had a truck down at the end of the driveway that needed to get in. So, I did what I had to do and not apologizing for it. I'll be back. Well, I think I only need a couple of logs. And I don't think they have to be huge. And, uh, those ones right there in the middle, these guys to me it would be about the right side. I just need something for that box to slide on. So I think that's my tree. Right there. This guy on the left. It might help these other guys to grow a little bit better too. Okay. And it'll be less leaves out here in my parking area. Yep. Okay. I'll go get my Paul Bunyan stuff and we'll get that tree down. <laughs>
Yeah, I figured I might as well drag it over there in one piece. While I had it hooked up, try to get one of the bigger pieces right under the front of the container there. I try to pick up the debris as I go so it doesn't pile up on me. But yeah, that's a good spot for that first section right under there. We'll see how it goes. So, I'll get this bucked up into about 9 foot sections, maybe a couple of 10 footers, and uh, put one under the front, and I think I might be able to budget like that. We'll check it out. Well, I was a little concerned about that big end of that tree, lugging that around by myself, which I don't think is going to happen. I'm sure it could drag it, but... That's why we have equipment. So I figured I'd just cut it off and leave that swinging from the back of the tow truck, move the other two pieces out of the way, back the tow truck up to the container, drop that log on the ground, lift the container up, and scoot the log up underneath it, and use the other two pieces a little further down the line where I'll have less clearance. Let's see how that works. Classic truck rescue. Had a very non-productive day yesterday. Well, I mean, I did a lot, but I didn't get anything done. Cut down a tree over there so I could have some logs to put under my container over there. Couldn't budge it. Uh, my dump truck's been running very poorly for about a week now, and we haven't been able to go get more rock. I actually had loads paid for that I couldn't go get. So I took a little time today, 
replaced all of my fuel lines uh, kind of had a patchwork fuel line thing going on so went down to the auto parts store about 10 feet a brand new fuel line a new fuel filter all new clamps and uh, just ran all new fuel line from the gas tank up to the carburetor and it's got a new Holly electric fuel pump on it and uh, thing runs real good went and got myself a load of gravel actually uh, had a few viewers say that if I put a load of rock on Bullfrog he could pull that well we're getting ready to find out because I really really need that container to be not where it's at and instead to be over there where the other one's at Jamie found me some trusses I can put on top of them and we might get those and we need a building we need storage we don't need it over there blocking my road and I can't move my trucks in here until I have those in position because they're very big and I need all this room to uh, to maneuver them so I did get pumpkin over there and spread some more gravel and ran it over with Jamie's truck packed it down I figure I got one shot at this it's getting dark um, I have some family things I have to take care of tomorrow so I'm not going to be able to get out here and I'd sure sleep a lot better tonight if that container was over there other end and slide it over because what's happened is it's come off of the blocks or the logs that I had it on and uh, the back end is sunk into the ground from trying to pivot so I'm going to take my tow truck not today or tonight but I'm going to take my tow truck with the block and tackle pick up the other end put the logs back under it and uh, I think once I make that corner if I can just get it going uh, and, and if I have to reposition the logs every 20 or 30 feet, then that's what I have to do. But i got to get that from there to there. So, thank you for the advice. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Shipping container wars. Take five. Or six. Something like that. Anyway, so, went and got myself some round posts. I realize they're not very big, but I have to be able to slide them under there by myself and I'm sure that having the container on anything other than just the ground will help uh, I did use Homer last night and got it pulled over quite a bit that way but what I'm trying to do is make a straight run down there pulling it with my bullfrog dump truck and the problem is it's up against these bushes that are by this tree and it's just causing extra work so if I can kick that back end over some more where I'm not having to pull it around a corner and forward at the same time and I can just make a straight run that way and uh, been fortunate it hasn't rained for a couple of days so I'm going to pick up that end of it uh, and slide these poles under it and then see if I can slide it over a little bit more if I get lucky it might come over a little more when I pick it up, but I'm going to use my block and tackle. I'm not going to be doing wheelies with my tow truck today. 
kind of was a emergency situation or I thought it was because I thought these guys that brought this were going to pick this up the other day and it wasn't positioned correctly so I used Homer hurried up yanked over one end of it and got it ready but they still didn't do it so kind of on my own on this Wish me luck of going in.
Well, <laughs> we're getting closer. Yeah. I think if I take my tow truck and pull that over just a little bit to get on this dryer gravel right here, put the logs back under it, heck, I might get another 20 feet. <laughs> got to do what you got to do. I want to thank all my viewers for your advice on the lifting it up, putting the logs under it, using both trucks, putting rock in the dump truck. I do appreciate it. Thank you. I was able to break free of the bushes. I used Homer to drag this in to the right a little bit. And then I took him around back. See, look there, free of the bushes. No more encumbrance. Uh, I took him around to the back and drug the other end over to the left a little bit. And now I've got more of a straight shot to where I'm going. I'm going right over there with it. All right, Monday morning. Uh, kind of tired of messing around with this container. It's cost me two weeks of my schedule. Got one week till I'm supposed to have all of my trucks moved off of the old property and everything moved out and over here. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen realistically now because this has cost me two weeks. And uh, it's not like that was an eviction date or anything. It's just when we were trying to be out. Um, and we're still trying to make it happen pretty quick, but like I said, I'm tired of screwing with the container, so I've got Jamie out here today. I'm going to take that load of gravel off a of bullfrog, dump it right here in the area that I need to travel to get to where the other container needs to go. Then we're going to hook Homer and the bullfrog, and then Jamie's going to go get in after I dump this load. Jamie's going to go get another load, so we got weight back on the dump truck. Then we're going to take Homer, and we're going to take Homer, and we're going to take the bullfrog. I'm going to lift that up, put a log under it, lay some fresh gravel out up to the spot where it's going. I'm going to chain both trucks to that container. Jamie's going to drive the bullfrog, which she's got experience with, and I'm going to drive Homer, hopefully Homer will be kind of picking up on the front of the container while both trucks are dragging it and we're just going to go for broke. But first, I'm going to do a little prep work. Kind of a different perspective on the property. I just came up here and I'm standing on the tractor because I sent Jamie after her first load of gravel by herself in the, uh, there's one of my storage containers. I sent Jamie out for her first load of gravel by herself and trust me I'm not a slave driving this woman she likes to drive these old trucks and uh, I told her last night that I was getting real tired of yanking and pulling on the storage container and trying to move it and I know I could eventually get it there but we're already two weeks behind on our schedule because that container you can barely see back there is in the wrong spot it needs to be over there with the other one and uh, I told her that I thought if we 
hooked the bullfrog dump truck and the uh, Homer tow truck onto that container and kind of prepped the ferry we'd be driving on a little bit with those old boys would yank it and she said let's do it I love that girl she's awesome but this kind of gives you a different perspective on the property see the front is all pasture up here and then in the back where the river is and the stream is it turns into woods it's really cool the roads need a little more work they've been taking some abuse but yeah see how green the pasture's turning and Jamie came out here the other day with a bag of seed and uh, spread it all over the place so that'll help so it'll have some good grass when he comes out here I'm gonna probably paint that side of that container green and it's not level right now I still have to level it out but probably paint it green yeah like that color green or that color green or that color green or maybe all three greens we'll see anyway she should be rolling up any minute now I think I hear my dump truck coming uh, yeah <laughs> there's Jamie <laughs> coming in with her first solo run to the rock quarry and load of rock She's an awesome woman. Awesome. She likes those air brakes too. <laughs> there she is. First load all by herself. Nobody riding with her. Jumped into dump truck, drove it to the rock quarry, and got herself a load of gravel. That's a pretty good sized load too. He filled her up. <laughs> well, Larry might have been testing her out a little bit. <laughs> well, apparently she handled her business. That's my girl. She likes that old dump truck bullfrog. <laughs> she likes that horn, too. <laughs> All right, let's go see her. How was that? Awesome. You're smiling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? How do you run? Awesome. Didn't cool. hesitate or... Larry gave you a pretty good sized load there, I noticed. <laughs> he might have been testing you out a little bit, honey. <laughs> well, when I rolled in, everybody's working up in the Flintstone pit, and I was all, woo, woo. <laughs> he came down, he's all... <laughs> right on. <laughs> they probably don't get a whole lot of that. <laughs> I found my way, didn't make one wrong turn, had no problems coming down the hill. Good girl. You're awesome. So let's go get some more. <laughs> well, let's get that container moved, huh? All right. All right. Yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to pop some wheelies, too. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs>
got to pick him up, put that log under there again. He's digging in. You do good, honey. Good job. <laughs> Look how far we got it. Little teamwork going on out here at the new classic truck ranch. Trucks working together, Jamie and I working together, Pumpkin helping out. Uh, anyway, we made some good progress on that last drag, but uh, we came off its rollers and dug into the ground. So I took Pumpkin, smoothed everything back out again, and uh, now I'm gonna pick the container back up, put a log underneath again. This time I may go a little slower. Jamie had to go, so I'm on my own again. Uh, but she can help me get it a long way. She's got to give that girl some props. Uh, she'll be back. But uh, I'm just doing what I can while she's gone. So I'm going to pick it back up, put some logs under it, and I may try just yanking it with the bullfrog. Let's see what I can get done. And you guys, by the way, are inside the other shipping container, which is identical to that one, and which is where this one needs to go. Let me get that picked up real quick.
Well, <laughs> Bully's not real happy about that, but I am. Good old truck. I think I can jockey it now with my wrecker. Feel a little bad about abusing my dump truck like that. And I will say one thing. I'm not the guy that uh, hoblos. I don't hobla espanol real well. But I know that that one is the one that gave me the trouble. And that one didn't. Anyway, hope my dump truck's okay. I, I did just put him through a workout. <sighs> Jamie just got back. That worked out pretty good. I'm real proud of that old dump truck. I look forward to fixing him up someday. Um, shoot, that might be far enough. I'll pull that, pull it over to the side with my wrecker. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Well, the weatherman was right. It did start raining yesterday. But I did have enough time to spread that load of gravel that was on the back of Bullfrog to give him ballast as he was pulling the shipping container. And I'll go over the rest of this too now that I've got those big old heavy containers in here. And the good news today is that, uh, yeah, I tore my roads up a little bit. But uh, I've got a good base. Um, anyways, the good news is there's not a shipping container sitting there anymore. Because my girl and my uh, old buddies helped me and we teamed up yesterday and got it over there finally where it belongs. And trust me, that is a very good thing. I know it's not straight, but that's why I'm out here today. Boy, it really got soupy out here too. I'm telling you right now. If I had not got that moved yesterday with the help of my girl and my two buddies, actually three of my buddies, that buddy over there helped too, uh, that thing would not be sitting right there right now. There's no way I could have moved that kind of stuff. But what I can do, I think, regardless of whether or not it's soupy out, is get it. Oh yeah, it's really soupy out here. Yep. There is no way I would have got that moved today. But, it is moved. They're both where they need to be. This one over here. Oh, I forgot to bring that scratch pad because I was going to take this off the one that was stuck in the road. Because I'm trying to be family friendly. And that can't be on there. And it's not that shipping container's fault. That, uh, it took me a week to move it. It didn't take me a week. Five days. Yeah. Five days, but five days I didn't really have extra right now. These are going to be really neat. I've got uh, plans to use these to fill about four of our needs. Um, so, but the first step is to use that guy over there. Him. That's a circus tent right there. I might use that for something. Anyway. That guy right there is okay. A little worried about him. Uh, probably pushed him a little hard, making him go for that end run <laughs> with the container behind him last night. But he did good today. That guy right there, this guy can pull it. This guy can pick it up. So this guy's going to step in today. We're going to give Bully a break. Great job, guy. And uh, still running and driving good enough to go get some more rock and help us fix these roads back up. Uh, but Homer's going to pick this up today. Um, my plan for today is I was going to take the day off. I was so tired from wrestling with that thing for five days. But uh, the plan for today is to get these containers lined up straight, square to each other, and level. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. And I just realized I forgot to bring my level with me. Well, we're going to get them pretty darn level. I got a trick I can use. And, uh, but we will get them squared up to each other. Uh, if I have to raise one up on one end a little later, I can do that with jacks. So, I'll be back after I get set up. Well, I don't really have time, plus it could start pouring any minute again. 
but uh, I don't have time to switch to my brush hog uh, especially since I'm still going to need to use my scraper blade out here so I'm just going to take pumpkin and do the best I can to mow down those bushes that are over there in the direction I need to slide that storage container over to actually pick up and slide with Homer but before I do that I thought I'd just take a minute and take the bucket the scraper blade and kind of plow into there and clear up a little extra room I can trim it up later but it'll make it easier to work I think that'll be enough to get my tow truck in there and drag that thing over like I need to. It's kind of neat every time you clear a little spot out here, or start to clear a little spot out, you can see, like, this is a really cool tree. It needs to be trimmed up a little bit, and I'll do that later with chainsaw, but right now, I've got to get the shipping container moved over. But yeah, it's like they're always uncovering little surprises. Well, I've kind of gotten used to using Homer to drag them around a little bit. This one over here's gotten a little 
uh, this one over here's gotten about where I think it needs to go but what I'm going to do is take my tape measure and measure from end to end to make sure we're square this way and then I'll probably have to go to the other end of it up there and uh, drag it forward a little bit but once they're square I can start leveling them off and uh, as you can see there will be quite a bit of room in between them as you can see see so I'll be back and give you guys a break you look tired <laughs> and it's cold and wet <laughs> so I measured the distance between my two containers and at this end it's right at 22 feet and I think that's a pretty good distance to have in between them I uh, don't really want to get that container over there closer to the tree and I would like to bring the other end of the container on the right over this way because it's at about 30 feet so I've got to drag it about five six feet this way and you realize that's going to make this end come over a little bit on this one but you just kind of got to jockey them around so you get them square as soon as I get this one pulled over so that I have the same distance between them I'll pull that one forward until they're square with each other and uh, then I'll level them all up pretty close to square but you know what they say measure twice move storage containers once You would believe me if I told you. <laughs> uh, 22 feet, four and a half inches. Yeah. Yeah. We go about an inch back that way. Odd as it may seem I think they're squared off right now I know it doesn't look that way from where you're at probably looks like they're going in but that's just because they're so long there is a inch and a half difference an inch and a half narrower on the other end than it is on this but I think the ends are in the right spot but like I said measure twice move continuous one I only need to move the ones, well actually I need to move that one right there, an inch and a half at the other end. And I have to put blocks under it, so I figure when I pick it up, I'll just move it over an inch and a half and those guys are square. Obviously one's tall, higher than the other. Basically I'm just going to be picking up the ends of them straight up. Uh, this one I'll move over an inch and a half and put my blocks underneath them, getting them level and uh, they'll be ready to put stuff in and we'll start putting stuff in them.
classic truck rescue thank you container battles over done as far as I'm concerned you will see me build something really cool out of these but as far as getting them on the property and getting them where they need to go a lot of work but it's done and I think that'll probably be one of the harder things that I have to do out here I don't have any trucks to move that are that heavy oh boy well when I got finished leveling the one container last night that we're going to use to put all the house stuff in I figured I'd get that one leveled and uh, we could start here since we're driving out here every day might as well bring a load of stuff from the house because while I've been out here working with the shipping containers and stuff Jamie's been packing up boxes full of our stuff from the house so that's all set to load up now and uh, good and level uh, I got to level the second one out today but when I was leaving last night I took the battery out of Bullfrog and the battery out of Homer out and took them home with me because I was just going to give them a full charge they just seem to run better like that plus I'm doing a lot of starting and stopping with them out here so I like to keep their batteries charged and uh, I realized I forgot to take them out of the back of the truck last night so I was kind of bummed out I was like well I can't go out to the property and not get anything done and uh, but then I thought well I need to go over these roads right now anyway because there's some divots and stuff. I mean, they've taken a lot of abuse over the last five days. And I thought now, since it's sunny and not raining, would be a good time to just kind of scrape everything smooth again and uh, identify my areas that I need to put more rock in, like that over there or um, this spot right here. Um, I know where they're at, trust me. I've, I've been getting experience as to where my bad spots are. are. But uh, we're gonna bring in some more gravel. Um, but I thought while I'm using pumpkin to run around here and just tidy up a bit Wouldn't it be nice if I could charge my batteries and I, oh, then I got to come back home and get the batteries But then I remembered I transferred all the stuff we've been keeping out of here including my little generator uh, To that storage box that I'm going to use for a temporary shop uh, Last night, so I just brought the batteries back out with me hooked them up to my handy dandy generator and uh, brought my battery charger with me so those batteries can be in there charging while I'm uh, straightening up the roads. <laughs> drawed 40 amps I'd say it needed to charge but anyways so I'll just get out here and clean up all these roads today uh, today I want to wish all my viewers a happy Thanksgiving because I'm gonna stay up late tonight and upload this container video so we can overcome this huge obstacle that got in our way and uh, move forward and move on and I want to thank all my viewers for watching and especially the last three months uh, all the new subscribers and the just awesome comments motivation uh, tips the tips have been uh, just priceless seriously uh, helped a lot that container wouldn't be sitting where it's sitting for, for my viewer tips and some other stuff that's happening around here including you guys being able to watch uh, while I work when it's raining without drowning and uh, you know extra wood on the back of I had to use his wood yesterday, but a uh, guy told me put extra wood for weight on the back of my blade, and that really helps. And uh, just uh, tips with the brush hog, tips with all the trucks, you know, guys telling me to put a load of gravel on the bullfrog and he'll pull a house. Well, that was right. Um, needed a little help, but uh, he did the lion's share of the dragon on that. And uh, just want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Jamie and I are going to have, you know, it's not going to be real easy this winter, uh, but we're going to be happy, and uh, we've got our eye on the big picture, and uh, we're just thankful to God for uh, this land, for the opportunity to even work out here and enjoy it, and all the the awesome wildlife we've seen, and the just birds that I've never seen anywhere else, and beavers, and uh, deer, and uh, we just we are totally thankful to God and uh, uh, wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving.
and uh, a Merry Christmas also because we'll be having one of those. Well, I got my battery charged up for Homer. Got my parking lot smoothed out a lot. Went all the way up to the road and uh, smoothed out this part in between the containers and everything. I was looking at old bullfrog. You know, he kind of looks like a turkey in some ways. <laughs> right there. Not saying you're a turkey, but oh, his bed's not down straight. Huh. We'll have to fix that. He's got a little thing that catches sometimes if, if the truck's moving when you put the bed down. It doesn't let it go down straight. I'll take care of that. I'm charging up a battery for him next. But uh, right now I'm going to take Homer. And uh, i got one container left to level out. This one's all leveled up. Uh, this one's got to be leveled and brought to the same height as this one. Uh, what I noticed on this end, and I did it over here already, is that the blocks need to go up in that little notch right there because uh, the ground's a little higher over here. And then the other ones I just adjust by shoveling the required amount of gravel underneath them. But I'm going to pick up this end first, get those blocks in there, get the second set in. Um, I found that if you just uh, do what Homer wants you to do as far as picking up these containers, no problem. He's got it. Uh, it, it was a slow learning curve for me, but... I, I think I have figured out how to use that tow truck without abusing it. <laughs> Although, I will not apologize for uh, the wheelies. And I've received some comments. What the heck is that? Uh, I've received some comments about how I was abusing poor old Homer. But a lot of people don't understand. I had to get him moved over 5 feet right then. In the, or 10 feet, whatever it was. But uh, I don't regret it. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry to Homer <laughs> for putting him through that, but uh, it was fun, despite the divot that I got on my head from hitting the roof. And uh, we won't do any more of that to Homer, but I think it is kind of cool that we caught, caught him in the act of being the beast that he is. So we'll be nice to him now. Anyway, so I'm just going to get this other end lifted up and uh, get that leveled out.
much more better. I realize I'll have to adjust them a little bit, but uh, visually, and uh, according to the walk test, they're, they're pretty uh, level, and I know they're squared off. So, Alaska Truck Rescue. Done messing with containers for now, except putting stuff in them.